Hi guys, I wanted to quickly show you how, what I mean by taking a source information, sources information that you get from one of the databases and plugging it into EasyBib. Please remember, do not use the database citation makers in any of the databases. If you do use them, make sure that you are triple checking them for errors because they are always full of errors and I can almost always tell when you've used them, so you'll get docked points for that. Um, especially in um, CQ Researcher, the citation that it gives you by default is APA, not MLA. So right there, you, you need to do a lot of fixing of the, cite, of the citation if you use the, the one that the database gives you. Okay, so here we are in an example in points of view. Um, this is an article from the Washington Times, and usually when you see the word Times, it's usually a newspaper, the Washington Times, the New York Times, etc. Um, down here, it, you can see the newspaper article was printed originally in the movie section of the newspaper, section D, page 2. So look at what your what your your source is. Try to figure out what kind of source it is. Is it a newspaper? Is it a magazine? Check it out um, and, and then go from there. So we've got the title, the author, the source, the publication date, and the page number down here, and then the database name is the Points of View Reference Center. Um, and this is from EBSCOhost, which you can see right up here. Okay, so we're going to take that information and we're going to plug it into EasyBib. And quick disclaimer, EasyBib is a free source and you get what you pay for in this world, right? So because it's free, sometimes we have to deal with talking videos over here and weird Kim Kardashian pop-ups. Um, so sorry for that, but um, EasyBib is actually going to make your life a lot easier. So we're going to deal with it. So we already established that we're citing a newspaper, so we click the newspaper tab and then you need to click manual entry so that you can manually enter all of the day of the article's information. So we click manual entry and the article title was um, Bending the Genders. The author was Scott Galupo and scrolling down it was originally a print article but we got it out of an online database not just online but it's a library database that was paid for it's a subscription now in theaters, Ugh, a annoying in the pause okay so the newspaper title was the washington times um let's see we don't need any of this yet date published what was that publication date december 23rd 2005 It was page D2. So I'm just going to put D2 there. Database. It was the EBSCO host points of view reference center. Get in there. And today's date, the 20th of June 2010. Sometimes I'm going to require you to put a URL in, even though MLA uh, 2009 doesn't require it. I'll let you know when that happens, okay? So for now, just leave it blank. Hit Create Citation. And here is your citation in proper MLA format. Take a look at it. Um, the word genders has been capitalized by easy Oh my goodness, these things are wow. insane. Back in EBSCOhost, you'll notice that genders is lowercase. So that's one thing that MLA is picky about. Some things need to be capitalized. So EasyBib does a good job of doing it for you. The title of the newspaper is italicized. The date is in a particular format. Um, the database name is italicized. Web is present because this is a web-based article. It was born in print, but you got it out of a database, so it's web. Today's date in a particular format. And importantly, it is uh, it begins with the author's name, last name, comma, first name. That's important. All your sources get listed alphabetically. So let's say you had another article by Aaron Duane. It would be Duane, comma, Aaron, and it would obviously come before Galupo. D comes before G, right? Okay. So um, make sure all your sources are listed alphabetically, that they are all double-spaced like this, that they all have this hanging indent, and that they're all properly formatted according to MLA with the italicization, the proper punctuation, and capitalization, etc. Email me if you have questions. And also note that you can um, export and save your citations as a Word document right through EasyBib. So um, either copy and paste this into your Word document or use this button here.